North Korea has criticized and threatened Australia for aligning itself with South Korea and the United States and for its attitude toward the Pyongyang regime, according to state-run media. Lately, Australia is showing dangerous moves of zealously joining the frenzied political and military provocations of the U.S. against the DPRK, state-run news agency KCNA said in a statement on Saturday. The Australian Foreign Minister personally expressed her support for the stand of the U.S. to consider all options including the use of force towards the DPRK, and turned up at Panmunjom on October 11 together with the Australian Defence Minister to condemn the DPRK during her visit to South Korea, it added. The statement refers to the visit to South Korea this week by Julie Bishop and Marise Payne during which they met their counterparts and visited the truce village of Panmunjom. Australian Defence Minister Marise Payne, left speaks as Foreign Minister Julie Bishop watches during a press conference with her South Korean counterparts at the Foreign Ministry in Seoul. Photo at Panmunjom is located within the tense demilitarised zone, a four-kilometre wide strip that separates the two Koreas, which have technically been at war for more than 65 years. During the visit, the minister stressed the need for diplomatic pressure to thwart North Korea's nuclear ambitions and urged the country not to carry out any more weapons tests and halt its nuclear and missile program. Should Australia continue to follow the US in imposing military, economic and diplomatic pressure upon the DPRK despite our repeated warnings, they will not be able to avoid a disaster, KCNA warned. AAP